Hey everybody, how's it going? Ah, here goes the newest project here at the house. Uh, we got a 1998 SeaDoo GS um, 720. She's pretty mint condition. I got her about three weeks ago. Been running good. Out in the water every other day, I would say. Um, nice trailer, all mint. Uh, let's see. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so not too bad. She's a little dirty, but I've been using it every day, every other day, I'd say. Let's see. Here goes the back of it. Put a rope ladder on the back there. Uh, I already fell off this thing a few times, so <laughs> it definitely helps getting back on, no doubt. Um, yeah. There we go. Nice little storage compartment. I put a bilge pump on. Switch right there. I'll tell you the story why I did that. Um, keys. Uh, let's take this off, take a look at the motor. There we go. Yeah, she's pretty freaking mint, like brand new. Here goes my uh, pump I put down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's really not much to show in here. Simple little... Uh, Rotax motor, engine. Yeah. Now the reason why I put the, uh, I had a little bit of misfortune with this thing since I got it. First time I put, put this in the water, uh, I was like a 16 year old kid. And what did I forget to put in? One of these. One was closed, one wasn't, I never even looked. Didn't even think about it. And I had a million boats and I just never thought about it. I was just too excited. So I threw it on the water. I made it about 20 minutes and then she started flipping over. Every time I'd be on it, it would just flip over. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? Um, yeah, so I, uh, my buddy towed me to shore. We got in there, we popped the seat off and we see, oh my God, it's just full of water. What the hell? Water came all the way up to, uh, it was covering the battery. Uh, put it that way to you definitely covering the battery up to the bottom of the um, carburetor uh, housing right there so yeah needless to say we found a problem I drained it brought it home um, let's see I had to pull the spark plugs out and blow all the water out of the motor yeah real freaking mess I really screwed up on that one so anyways that's why I threw the uh, village pump in this thing. So that's not gonna happen again. <laughs> you know, at least I know what to look for. Especially when it becomes, uh, un it won't stay buoyant. As soon as you make a turn, you just flip over on the thing. I guess they do it doesn't sink their neutral buoyancy. From what I was told by somebody, I don't know. So yeah, there goes that. So we got the bilge pump in, we're good. And I always double, triple check these back plugs, the drain plugs. Uh, let's see. Then the night I bought it, the day, you see that broken tail light right there? It's supposed to look like this one. I'm driving home, and um, of course it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, still daylight, and I'm making a turn. And you ever see those group of kids on, on, on dirt bikes and, and uh, motorcycles? You know, I mean, this one happened to be stolen. 15-year-old kid flying. There's, I had 100 witnesses. Everyone told the cops what happened. A kid was flying down the road, had to be doing over 80 to 100, doing wheelies and everything. And he goes around all the traffic that was uh, at the light there, blows through around everybody. And he thought he didn't see I had a trailer on the back of my truck, according to the people that witnessed it. So he tried to swerve around my uh, truck he was going through the lights and everything. He was just a dumb kid, you know? 
we were all like that at one time, I guess. Maybe more, some are more reckless than others. Anyways, this kid, he flies around. All the other cars, they then just cranks into the back of this thing. Uh, yeah, he flew over the handlebars. I had a little damage right here. Nothing much, and that's right there. I just got a, I could fix that easily. So long story short is, cops show up. Thank God the kid had a helmet on, um, cause he would be dead. He was pretty knocked up pretty bad as it was, and he was bleeding like crazy. Um, yeah, so ambulance drag, took him to the hospital. They said he was gonna be okay. Um, he got all the tickets, I got nothing. So I don't have anything to worry about as far as the, that accident goes. Plus every witness over there said the dude was driving like a maniac. And so yeah, he got a bunch of tickets. He doesn't even have a license. Bike was stolen. Oh yeah, just a freaking mess. So yeah, so that's, you know, first night home, a uh, freaking stolen bike by a kid rams into the back of my jet ski. Uh, I mean, I felt bad for the kid. I was more worried about him than this dumb thing, but yeah. Uh, next, uh, next day I put it in the water. Uh, I sink it. Pretty freaking cool. <laughs> So then I get about two weeks straight of no issues, running great, going freaking crazy. And um, I screwed up the uh, back housing right here. Um, what happened was, what I thought I did was, um, I, I beached the thing. I was going to, uh, down the uh, river at a you know, pretty good speed and um, it was low tide. And it was the lowest tide I've ever seen because I've never grounded out over there before. So I thought I screwed up my wear ring, and you can see. It's bad. So I went and I put a uh, Sea-Doo um, new wear ring in it, but it still has that slipping feeling. I guess the, the forums call it, uh, uh, what do you call it? The forums call it cavitation? I call it slipping. It's like a slipping clutch. So I ordered a whole new housing, jet pump housing. And I ordered a uh, new impeller. It's all brand new. I should get it here in another day or two. But uh, I guess what we want to do with the um, with this is I want to show how to do a engine flush on this. So I was looking on uh, online and I can't even find anything like a video on how to do this. A complete video, <laughs> something that shows you how to do it. And I didn't waste my time buying a. Um, uh, one of those uh, adapters or connectors. I'm not spending $28 for a stupid little plastic thing that screws in there. I was up at the sea dealer and I was, no. So I made my own. Basically what I did was, I had one of these fittings. Here, I'll put it over here. So I had one of these fittings laying in my uh, garage here. And I had a rubber hose for a car, like heater hose or something like that, radiator hose. And I just connected it on there like this. Now what you do is, um, let me get repositioned. I'll show you how to plug this into the back of this particular, these older uh, sea dews So hold on one second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So we're over here at the back of the engine. Or, yeah, the jet pump. And this is it right here. So you plug this into the hose, you screw this into the hose. Take the nozzle, I took my nozzle off. Screw that in. This, as you can see, the other side of this has a, like a little uh, pipe, barb, I forget what you would call this. And this hose just slides right over it. Nothing to it, I put it on there like that. And I got lucky. This is where you put it into this long tube, on this one anyways. So all you do is just, I spent $28 on something that's it's actually harder to put on you know what i mean this is easy and that's it now we start it up you always start the jet ski up first prior to turning the water on so let's start it up let's start doing some flushing and uh yeah we'll go from there so hold on one second and that's it all right here we go i got a nice close-up on it this is a cold start i haven't started it yet today so Let's see how she goes.
doing? That's it. I just pull this out. Yeah, so. All right, so that's where we're at. That's how you pretty much flush one of these older sea dews. Um, yeah, this is a bare basic one. This is like a train, uh, the basic one you can probably buy back in 1998. It doesn't even have reverse. So, yeah, it is what it is, but I got it at a good price. She was pretty mint, so I said, screw it, I'm blunt it. And I've been having a good time on it. It's a great, it's a great uh, jet ski to learn on, and I am figuring it out, especially when I bombed out and grounded the other day. So I got a new uh, jet pump housing on the way. Um, a Solaris, a, a, I got a high performance stainless steel uh, prop coming in. It was 700 bucks for both those items. I could have got them a lot cheaper, um, but I went for the good stuff. And we'll throw it on, see how she goes. Um, yeah, and that's it, we'll end it at this video. Next video will be when I'm changing out the uh, jet pump housing. Uh, it comes with a new wear ring already in it, um, and that uh, stainless steel um, impeller. So, all right, so that's it for now. Bye-bye. All right, she's in. I haven't glued it yet, but. So here you go, there goes the thing. Now watch, she pisses. We're gonna call this a success. Piss, 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 piss.